joining me in the room podcast to talk about his CES MMA welterweight title fight is Gary Batman Belletto Jr. in the room podcast. Right. What's going on? What's up, Gary? I know I interrupted a little bit of uh, training right now. You got some guys sparring there. And, uh, man, how excited are you to get back to CES and fighting in front of your hometown crowd for a uh, welterweight title? Uh, yeah, man, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. We're gonna be, you know, it's a world title fight. It's in hometown. It's for an organization that I have my family has a ton of history with, not not just me. And uh, the, you know, this is this is surreal, man. It's awesome. Well, when you heard uh, the opportunity as far as uh, being able to fight for the title, was the matchup already set? Was the title like uh, you know offered to you and not of not a matchup yet? Or when Billy's name came across the board? It was a, a done deal. This needs to be for the, the title. Yeah, so I'm not sure exactly what played out behind the scenes, but what was brought to the table to me was that uh, we're going to be fighting for the title. Billy Goff was asking for me. They said it would be a title fight, and of course I said, yeah, so here we go. Well, my man, you've been bouncing back be between uh, professional boxing and the MMA, all success successful since your return back. A uh, couple of MMA fights, a couple of boxing matches, but you've been busy in 2021, uh, back in the cage and uh, another boxing match. But two ran naked chokes to see, yes, get that and get back in there. How's it feel, man? Like uh, you know, riding a bike or what? Yeah, well, yeah, I got the I got the uh, the boxing, you know, the the throwing the pump, throwing punches out of my system in the boxing fight. So I figured when the MMA fights came around, let's let's grapple a little too. Let's keep the experience rolling and uh, and get the most we can out of each experience, you know. Well, you've been knocking people out and submitting them. Gary, you know, you're known from the family history of boxing and you doing it also in the ring. But people don't know, uh, or they, they do, but the outsiders, they don't know you're actually a brown belt in jiu-jitsu under uh, Machado and uh, uh, Triforce, correct? Yeah, so, so Triforce is a Carlos Machado affiliate school. Uh, we actually train with Carlos a few times a year. Um, sometimes he comes to us, sometimes we'll even take a trip down, uh, to, to visit him in Texas. And, and, uh, you know, it's, it's a whole nother, a whole nother ball game with, with, uh, you know, the, the Machado family legacy on, on the shoulders of each fighter from our camp or not just fighter, but each student at a, in our gym, you know, is, is they, they hold that in very high regard and it's, uh, it's important, you know, it's an important name to carry. Excellent. Well, congratulations on all success, success on the mat, but more importantly, uh, su success in the cage and in the ring, brother. Um, this fight right here is, um, you know, this is the cream of the cream for uh, 170 pounders in New England. This is the best of the best as far as uh, we're all concerned, and the winner of this fight. Uh, we're we're seeing uh, has is no doubt going on to the next level, or at least getting an opportunity. To jump yeah. in somewhere, man. So, you know, how how are you going about this fight? It's your first uh, professional MMA title fight, and it's against a game opponent and Billy. Who's going to be throwing yes. down, throwing down with you? How do you approach? Yeah. How do you approach this fight? Yeah, well, I mean, Billy's a dog. You know, he's he's coming to work. He's coming for it. You know, we all have the same goals. He's, you know, I I uh, I seen uh, you know his fights, of course, and in his uh, a few of his interviews, kid seems like a stud. You know, he seems like a super nice kid and everything. He's got great, good goals. You know, you, you, you can't hate anybody like that, you know? Um, so I'm, you know, I, I, you know, whatever happens, I wish him the best also. And, you know, this is, uh, you know, this could very well be something that propels us to the next stage. It could, um, you know, I, I don't think this fight any way or shape, whatever the way this goes, I don't think this is going to hurt either of our career, you know? Um, you know, both of us are, are rising names in the sport right now in the division. Um, so just looking forward to, you know, I, I, as a fan, I'm looking forward to see the outcome myself. You know, I, I always say that there's not, if you're doing the training, there's nothing to worry about going into the fight. It's the preparation's already done. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. You're going to do what you're trained to do. And it's going to come down to, you know, what, what preparation and experience, uh, took the night. So we'll, you know, we'll, we'll see. It should, uh, it's going to be a hell of a night, you know, not, not just our fight, but the whole card is uh is is set to explode you know this is going to be awesome and the special thing is that back at uh valley's twin rivers casino where uh you know it's basically your home 
Billy will be coming into your backyard. Dude, when you fight people uh, from New England, no matter what, that's Gary and the Boletto's backyard there, man. How how excited are you to fight in front of the home crowd and uh, just hear that place explode again? Oh, it's going to be so cool, man. I mean, I, I had a great crowd everywhere I went this past year. You know, we, we went to Florida, Connecticut. We, and, uh, you know, I have so many awesome, like, friends and family and, you know, supporters out there, you know, that I might not even know that just are so cool and, and just, you know, they, they love the sport. They love uh, seeing me compete in it. And, you know, it's, it's so awesome, you know. And, and, you know, Bill coming from Connecticut, um, you know, he's not too far away. I'm sure he's going to bring a good crowd and my crowd's all going to be in support of him also. You know, I mean, my dad just told me, tell him, tell him, I love Billy Goff. <laughs> my dad, my dad said, What's right? up, Tiger? Tiger my dad said, he's, he's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like we, we saw his interview. We're like what a, what a cool kid. You yeah. Know? He's a good uh, dude. He's a hard he's worker, good. you know, and, and everything, uh, you know, so, you know, and, and I got nothing but good things to say about him to everybody. When they ask me, Oh, who are you fighting? I'm like, Oh, you got to see this kid. He's, He's, he's awesome, you know, so, you know, we won't have any fans booing him or anything like that, you know, it's, it's going to be such a cool night, you know, we're, we're, like I said, regardless, and, uh, there's no, there's no loss in this fight, you know, it's going to, it's going to be a hell of a fight, and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be awesome, you know. It's a treat for all, Gary, man, uh, for everyone in New England, out of New England, Fight Pass. It's just, uh, it's an amazing matchup, and we're excited uh, as anyone could be for it. Uh, last thing, I know you're jumping back in the ring there. Shout outs, uh, anyone you want to say a special thank you to, social media, and I'll let you get back to training for this uh, special fight. Yeah, you know, I mean, all my friends and family that support me on a daily basis with, not, you know, not only the fights, my gym, and then everything else going on, you know, I, I love everybody, man, it, you know, it, it's, uh, we're social creatures by nature as human race, and it's, it's pretty damn awesome having, uh, having so many good people around you, you know, I, I could sit here all day and night and name, you know, a, a million names, I, every one of them is important, so, it, uh, you know, my coaches and, and my, my training partners, this is, this has been awesome camp, been, been a great experience training for a five-round fight, you know, uh, I feel awesome, and uh, so we're ready, ready to rock and roll, and, and you know, and that's because of all the awesome people I have around me. And, Excellent, uh, my man. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm getting better with social media. I'm trying to post things more and interact a little more. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm getting better at it. You know, I'm on Instagram, I'm on, uh, on Facebook. So, if anybody wants to reach out for well wishes for tickets for the show, that helps me out. If, uh, if anybody wants to come to the show and get tickets through me, I, I get a little credit for it. Um, so, yeah, th thank you, guys. Steve, thanks for having me, brother. I appreciate it. You're the man. All right. Thanks for everything you do for combat sports and, and everything around here. We all love you. All right. Thanks, my man. Uh, special shout out to you and Triforce and all the guys that are going to be going into battle with you because you've got a ton of trade and partners taking that walk with you. So, Gary, again, That's right. thank you for the time, and uh, we'll catch up. I'll see you in four weeks uh, in that cage at uh, Bally's Twin Rivers, bro. All right. I love it. Thanks, man. Take care, Steve.